So that would be the chorus. And now I try to really keep it down in terms of all the things that I was doing just to show you that it can actually be pretty neat if you just dress up the chords because I did dress them up, you know, with all those extensions. And once there is a vocal, not to say that I sung that brilliantly or whatever, but, you know, that at least there is that melody line, then that can work perfectly well. You know, sometimes just laying down the chords with nice voicings when there is a vocal that is more than sufficient and more than cool enough already in and of itself. So let's just quickly go over that. B, this is a regular B. I added a major seven and then even this 13, but I put that over there, right? And then a nine, so it's gonna six, nine-ish. And one five left. Is that necessary? Absolutely not. You could also just do it like that or that. Next chord would be that altered chord. So from B flat, we're adding a whole lot of extensions. And when you cram that many extensions into one chord, musicians also in the pop world kind of like to compress that into the term alt. Uh, normal triad seven, right? Then we alter the five, hence the alt name as well. And then also this, um, yeah, this is, kind of a, a flat 10, if you will, right? So it's a minor note on a major chord to really get you that tangent kind of, yeah? So again, B major, I now play a major six, so it's kind of six, nine again. You can yeah, add the, there's that altered chord which I also played like this. And I think in the original tune, it's also done sometimes like that. So I swapped the bass notes, which is nice because it's only a half step up to that E flat over there. To the E flat minor seven. With a third in the bass, which you could also say is then an G flat six, right? It's the same thing. To the A flat seven or nine, it's all up to you, which also walks over B flat to the B. So now you see that I actually played it much closer to the original tune, which is just to say that, yes, when you are creating your rendition, then it's up to you. Do you want to stray very far from the original like we did with that rendition of mine, which is kind of different, right? Or do you use all those techniques and all those building blocks to recreate the original because yes, it is essentially all built from those things. So that was what I did at the end. Um, playing it more like the original is being played. 